Hello and welcome to the very first episode of RCT2 Germany Weekly. I'm version 1, your host, and to start things off, uh, I think it's the best if I explain it again what I want to achieve here. Um, I will record a video every every Sunday and basically just a look at the releases of the past week on new elements or sometimes other parks like uh, like this week there were no new releases as of uh, 1 p.m. on Sunday German time so uh, I will take a look at two parks that came out just before the deadline on the 12th of, of January 2015 and this is the first one that is called Bigfoot by Big Shooter Jill I hope I pronounced it right um, I want to ex uh, I want to apologize if my English is a little bit shaky I haven't done an English video for a longer time and now just getting back uh, in it so uh, basically the, the idea behind it was that I really like looking at parks especially since I having I'm having difficulties actually building something in RCT2 but I wanted to contribute to the channel which is has been uh, running for a very long time now and but it sort of went to sleep I mean and MCE always did his videos but there was nothing really new or exciting happening so I thought I'm, I'm gonna change that and take a look so this is uh, obviously an NCSO park by as I said big shooter Jill or Gil whatever I hope he's not mad at me now um, it is a um, design it didn't win uh, anything I think on well, not I don't think but I but I know uh, but yeah um, one thing that I forgot to, to mention at the start, I haven't looked at uh, any of those two parks and I, um, yeah, I didn't really prepare anything, I just wanted to to uh, see how it goes and if you if you want me to, to take a look beforehand, then let me know in the comments on new elements on YouTube, on Reddit, I will release it on Reddit as well, I will look into those and yeah, let's start with the, with the entrance, which is not particularly uh, impressive I mean it's an entrance what you expect but uh, from the first view I really like this 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 area here it just has a very it combines the, the busyness of a park with with a lot of paths and a lot of and a lot of buildings attractions but it also has some some more nature like parts uh, in this in this entrance area with with this picnic area here which which I find pretty cool I mean even though there's a coast right here some may say that this is maybe too loud for for picnic space but I would totally go there and and eat a lunch or something so before I go to the coaster uh, I could start to start a game uh, before I go to the coaster let's let's just look at the overall park layout um, as you see it's in a forest so I will using my my, my number four button a lot to to make the trees invisible and the other theming so basically what we have here is here's a big area I, I could imagine this being the, the the edge of the park with with this the last bit of it and uh, you know if they want to build this mini course parkour a little bit away from everything else and then they went ahead and built it like the there I really like how the the coaster is spread out that that's something I, I never achieve <laughs> but I but I really find it really cool how it's how it uh, yeah spreads around the map and goes there and there in two directions um, yeah and the, the the mini course parkour mini golf parkour is course I guess is uh, is pretty well placed I think I mean it, it is nice to have a little bit quiet time but you also have the coaster so you're not completely cut off from the world yeah this, this little lake is in the middle I think you, you can see it from here I would I would probably go play mini golf just to make a photo from here to the to the coaster to the first drop because there's not really much of a different point to see the first drop from but I kind of like that I mean uh, 
wooden roller coasters in my eyes are the coasters that are that are most allowed to to just go out of the boundaries of the park and just go somewhere completely else whereas whereas uh, steel coasters i prefer steel coasters being in the park you know but but with with, with i mean wooden roller coasters are rougher than than steel roller coasters and they give you this feeling of of you know of being out of control and and just rushing around and then it's pretty cool if they go out of the park and he did a really good job in in having a lot of interaction here in the in the later part of the of the of the coaster and i mean this is pretty cool with these little buildings and he he uses this cso and uh, the ncso objects really good i i think that would be a really cool moment especially because you have two turns here that that can see that and here too it's it's pretty nice he he clearly oh that's a little bit of a glitch uh he clearly uh cared for how this looks this this mini golf parkour and it's i mean it's pretty amazing i mean i can't see that much of it because of the trees but this this part is pretty cool like that that would be something like i like i said i probably would play this 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 course just because it's really cool placed and and, and cool th cool themed so let's go back to the uh, entrance area where you have this building there are a few houses in there for for food and and what is this ice cream two toilets and food to drink and in, in information most kind of things which i i don't I'm, I guess I'm not the biggest fan of the building itself because it's pretty blocky and it's pretty samey, but that could be just me. But but these things here uh, are really cool and pretty realistic, I think. A lot of uh, theme parks have something like these, these uh, overhanging things around their houses. And I mean, he did a really good job in theming the, the, the path, like here, these things and these uh, roofs and this construction here i really like that like i that's to something that i always forget to do but looks really good okay so uh we have a little a little playground here which is pretty nice especially like i said it's pretty much on the edge of the map and or of the park of the imaginary park that is that this is uh, placed in so having having a playground here is pretty cool Especially because there is a big coaster, so so I don't know. This, the son and the father can go can go ride the coaster uh, while the the daughter or the the little kid and the the mother can go to the playing ground. Or 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 the other way around, because both uh, MCE and I have the experience that our mothers are a little bit more into roller coasters than our fathers, which is a little bit strange. So let's let's take a ride on this coast i i really want to to um to show you the park in a way that you don't have to look at it in in game yourself okay that yeah i hope that don't doesn't come out strange i mean you should look on every uh, in every park that i that i uh, that i show here just because it's always better to to explore it on your own but if you don't have time one week and you j just want to see what Oh my god what uh new things are out in in new elements then i want to give you this that opportunity so it's not too great that uh, the block system doesn't work properly properly and i think the fix shouldn't be too hard just either uh, make this this lift slower or or add some fake or add some uh, time waiting time here for this for this for the next train but the coast itself i i mean i i really like it like the way it spreads out and the, the first drop is pretty amazing it's something completely different from everything i've seen but it kind of it kind of works you know that kind of oh, that is really close yeah like if he had built a, a break on here and then a normal turn a non-banked turn that would have been that would have worked probably probably so uh yeah and then you have this turn which is a really good speed i think 
And I think the, the, the layout itself is pretty cool. I mean, the first stop, like I said, it's something special, but it kind of works in the park. And the rest of the, the ride is pretty cool. It's Here it's a little bit flatter with, with more little airtime hills, which I which I always like in, in, in wooden roller coasters. And he's, he even got a little bit speed left for, like he, he could build mm, more of the coaster. That would have been cool if there was, was a turn here in the, into the, or in the direction of the lake, but I guess it would have been hard to, to finish it if he did so. Or a uh, helix here, I don't know. But I think he he did a pretty fine job with this coaster. I really like it, and it's always important to to have a big coaster if you are doing a design. And I mean, like I said, it spreads really far out, and that that's really good if you if you're doing a design. When I'm concerned, because it gives you the the feeling that it's really special. And like I don't know if I if I build a park, I always try to to make coasters a little bit more compact whereas in our design I try to to spread them out and kind of make them special and I think he did that this is a really big coast I feels like it's special only for this park so I mean the station is nothing too too amazing but I mean it's it's a wooden roller coaster station they are they are usually a little bit more simpler well well except Wodan in in Park, but that's a whole different story. Um, yeah, it's a, a simple wooden entrance. I like that. I mean, this this thing is pretty cool. Um, the souvenir stall. Yeah, I, I like that area here with with these little walks and these walks. You kind of, like I said, a kind of natural feeling to it. And yeah, he, I. Am, I don't know if I liked the souvenir stall even more if it was here, like from a realistic standpoint, because um, they love customers to go to exit through retail. Yeah, real ro roller coaster term here. Um, but I think it's fine here. Like, I want, I would stop there to to get a big food jersey or food head. What? Okay, maybe I wouldn't get a food head. That seems kind of strange to me. <laughs> but as I said, I really like this park. I mean, it's it's a design, so there's not much to say. I mean, there, there are a lot of little things like like this sitting corner that I really like, or this, or or the fact that he has placed two mini golf courses. I don't know here or the the way that he did the the fountains, which is really cool. I mean the the um, the the monorail rails here really help the, the 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 form of the pond, and this is really cool that he actually did add some posts to uh, make the make the fountains look better. Never, I think I've never seen that actually. That's pretty cool. And like I said, a little, a lot of little things that he did really well. I, the forest is maybe a little bit simple from from a from time to time, but I don't know if he used eight cars, so I don't, I can't really say anything against this because I, like I don't really see something where he clearly used eight cars at the moment. Maybe I'm just blind, but I don't think so. So, uh, yeah, that was uh, Bigfoot. I, the, the other park is a little bit bigger, so I, I'm going to wrap it up right here. Uh, yeah, and let's look at the next park. I hope it all works properly. So, King's Rally by GDB, as you may have seen. Uh, I actually printed out the history of the park, so I'm going to make a pause here and explain it a little bit to you. I, I read it, but I think I have to look at it again a little bit. So the, the park was originally made in 1990. The yeah, the original park layout was pretty much just Main Street and the path around the log flume, which is there. 
and and until 1992, not much happened. Oh, okay. And Blaster was the first roller coaster. I th guess it's this. Yes, Vekoma, 1992. Sorry, it hurts. Like hell. So um, afterwards, they built they built Peril, which is this by S and Whoa! I didn't know that S and S built. Or did I know? No, I did know. But it's pretty special to actually choose S and S for for your wooden coaster. But I guess from a realistic standpoint, that's pretty cool. So. Ravenholm with the Spanish area, I guess it's this, yeah. And 2008, the new coaster split second. I guess this is, no, this is that's the German theme. I should I should recognize the German themed area when I see it. I guess this is split second, yes. And that's the German area set for late 2014 with the Wing Rider, a Swiss product, of course. With obvious, with obvious, uh, yeah, obvious inspiration by by Gatekeeper, I guess, with this this Gatekeeper esque uh, uh, zero tree. So let's stop the pause. I'm gonna uh, talk about the rest of the of the history. Like, if you if you uh, download the park, you should really read the read me the read me, whatever, uh, because it pretty much explains why he built it like he did. So I mean the the main street is pretty nice. I guess that I like the entrance. It kind of it kind of had a has this feeling of a small simple park which I which I really like. So and the, the I mean the area behind the, the the main street is pretty much Pretty easy, pretty simple, fitting the, the theme that the park started with this main street and then expanded from there. I mean, a lot of uh, small houses, small stalls, no, nothing too too crazy. I mean, he added the the, the station of uh, of of uh, split second afterwards, and I really like that. Like. In 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 uh, I I may be the only one, but when I'm in theme parks, I always look at, at how the 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 backstage areas are set up and how the park or how some things uh, actually fitted in the fitted in other things that were there previously. And this is a little bit like in Valley B, Holland, where um, they they built express like in the in the main building or behind the main building, and then built the entrance in the main building and. and I have the same feeling here, like they built split second here and just built the, the, the entrance into a building that already existed, which I find pretty cool. If you want to build a realistic park, if you uh, uh, actually think about what the park would would have done to fit in the, the coaster and the station somehow. And the station is, I mean, there's nothing, not, not much to be said about the station because you kind of don't see it a lot, like only on the right itself. And from my experience, that doesn't matter to most. And I like how this is pretty simple. Like a real park wouldn't wouldn't really uh, invest too much money into in, into this area. So really realistic park, I guess. So let's go uh, into the into the next area. And yeah, well, the coast is a it's an accelerator from Intermin. Pretty standard. This isn't as standard. That's a pretty modified Vekoma. I think we no arrow uh, looping coaster. I think it's modified. I don't think if I haven't seen uh, this layout before. But I mean the the usual inversions and yeah, back to the end. Well paced, I think. The block system works, and yeah, nice, a nice station from this angle. Yeah, this, the station is pretty nice actually. From, from the other angle, I wasn't sure if this looked as well from the front, but I kind of like it. The, the blue is a little bit strange, I guess, but that's just that may just my, be my allergy for colors. But Q is really, really cool. Uh, how it twists here. 
Yeah, well, pretty well uh, uh, built coaster and station. And this, I guess it should be the, the, the Spanish area, but I, I have to be honest, I don't really see that much of a Spanish influence on these, these buildings. It just looks like kind of normal uh, medieval theming. So, I mean, that's not too sad because, I mean, again, you can look look uh, back on the on the uh, in the history and say that this is two thousand two thousand three. Like this was one of the first really themed areas that they built, so it would be pretty realistic if they didn't go too crazy about it. So, uh, yeah, but this is pretty cool. Like you can sit down, eat a hot dog, and and stuff. It's always nice when when people not only have rivers in their in their parks but uh, but use them really really well. And he did that here. So let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go here to this octopus ride. This pulp, whatever. I don't know what's it. the octopus ride. Yeah, I was right the first time. Yeah, it is a little bit detached from the rest, I would say, but that is kind of normal for, for flat rides, I think. Like for a re realistic park, this is, this makes sense because you have this, this this little lake here and the path is going here and that would be unused space if it wasn't there. So they would probably build something there. Just just make, to, just to, uh, yeah, have something there. So this is, when I read the, 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 read, the read me, I already knew that this was going to be my uh, my uh, favorite ride. This is Conquistador. It's a rapid ride. And what the be what's the best part about it? Yeah, it has a dark ride part in here. So let's turn around and we see that you you drive to, through a kind of a um, Inca or Mesoamerican uh, Maya city or ruins. And I think that's really nice. I, I really love dark rides in real life. And I even love them more if they are combined with normal rides. And here, I think he did a really good job. I mean, and the queue is just just amazing how it how it just yeah goes over the, the, the course of the of the rapids over and over and over again. You have a lot of of uh, yeah a lot of exposure for for the queue from the queue and again here's a little dark white part i think sadly can't see in it but yeah i can imagine what th there would be something in there the city of ah, the city of Tenochtitlan. this should be like who played age of empires 2 who knows what what he's talking about it's like the the capital of of the maya no, oh no, of the Aztecs. So that, that was the right one. Yeah, like I said, I really like how this 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 ride is put together. I'm not 100% convinced by these two buildings because they. I would have liked more to have more of the 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 Mesoamerican theme here. I mean, these are. I don't know. This is a little bit of a Mexican feeling. I feel so. That's the right place. Or, I mean, it's the right place architecturally. I think. But I would have preferred to have more of uh, more Aztec kind of buildings here. But I can understand that it's pretty difficult because, like, the only thing I personally uh, think when I think Aztecs, it's like uh, ruins and temples and stuff. You can't do too much with those. But again, this this is a really fun ride. It's pretty long, which is always good in a rapid ride. Like I, I would I would probably ride it a couple of times a day just because of the dark white path and the whole area again I mean this is actually not working is it no there's a little dark white in there which which is really nice and I lose your road trip yeah this that's the Spanish area I, I thought the Spanish area was just there, but apparently I, it, it went out and it goes out here. Maybe this is actually part of the Spanish area, and that's because, and that's the reason for for these buildings. Like, 
Maybe it's just like yeah, the Spanish go and explore the the ruins of the Mesoamerican culture, as we all know, uh, the the Spanish colonials that oh yeah, and it and I mean the name Conquistador kind of points to that. Yeah, but as I said, I really like it. I like how it how it is here, you know, with these with these uh, yeah theming elements. And it has, it has some interaction with the with the wooden coaster, to which I will come now. So again, a couple of buildings. Basically, the station is pretty much just in the buildings, uh, with a couple of windows here. I mean, you can, you you don't see the uh, the station too much, and I always like that because if you like this park, this park doesn't seem like it would. Uh, invest much money in in elaborate uh, stations if it doesn't have to, and in this case it doesn't because I mean the, here is a little bit of a themed area where you can probably enter enter the queue, and then the station is pretty simple, pretty pretty big uh, big building. But again, I I really find it fascinating. I find it interesting how how he fit the the coaster in there, like that it rides. A top of the the building, and then uh, here's a tunnel to to accommodate things. I really I I like the coaster, especially these parts where he very actually uh, took the time to to hack these these tracks on the tracks because uh, many roller coasters actually have this that they have this uh, this kind of middle section in their tracks. I don't know how it's called. Is it running at the moment? Stop by block breaks. Train one. Waiting. That can't be right. Something is a little strange here. Let's close and open it again. Let's close and no. Okay. No, I actually test. I want to look uh, how how fast it is to to actually know if this could like I think a year or two back there was a park with a pretty cool wooden roller coaster or it seems like it but it needed uh, but it was really slow it actually needed uh, lift parts to make it and that kind of uh, pulled it down for me I don't think this will be the case here but nevertheless. Let's see how fast it is in the in the turns. Well, it's pretty fast, but I think it's okay. Yeah, this this double up is pretty cool with the turn, and then yeah, I like the coaster. Uh, yeah, then. We come to another area with with these uh, yeah with this path details, <laughs> with these rail uh, road rails on the ground, which I really I always like if 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 uh, if they are built in in a western themed area, they are often but I always like them. So uh, this is Canyon Ballaster. Uh, I th I would even say a kiddie uh, mine train. I mean, if you if you think of the real mine trains that have two or three lift hills and and so on, it is pretty tame. But I think it's okay. I mean, this is one of the first coasters of the park, and like I said, it's pretty kiddie friendly. It has, it has some great moments here. I, I would imagine that this waterfall isn't quite as dense in 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 the real life, like the. <laughs> but it always looks funny in in RCT. The station is is pretty nice, I think. This is a really realistic station station for this for this ride. You have some theming here, uh, pretty much standard Western theming, you know, fake fake rocks and so, but not as elaborate to make it unrealistic. And with these things uh, behind it, with these walls to to hold it up, and you can actually see those. I think it it pretty much fits the theme of a park that that, that doesn't. That that sounds a lot of uh, pretty negative, but most of it of the parks don't don't try to go for perfect theming, and I think that's okay. And this this park 
does, uh, doesn't go for perfect, flawless theming, but for good theming, and I think that's 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 something something here accomplished. So you have these these uh, these yeah lasso, these little flat rides here. The, I would actually count Texas water wheel in there, although it's not in the uh, in the dirt road kind of area of the western themed area. Enterprises are always fun, so that's that's really cool. Dynamite disaster. The the flume ride is a little bit small in comparison to other flume rides, but I think it's 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 pretty cool. Because again, it would be like this would be one of the first rides that the park built, so uh, there wouldn't be a reason for it to be super super big and maybe they have space problems. So from a realistic standpoint, this is pretty cool. I think the only thing that I'm not 100% convinced of is, is the big splash being pretty near to the pretty close to the uh, to the main main path because they would get soaked. I don't know how, how lock flumes splash in America, but in Germany you would get really wet if you st stood there or sit on that bench. That bench would be wet all the time. The station again, nothing too, nothing too uh, incredible, nothing bad. Kind of, like I said, it fits the park pretty well. And the flat ride. And from the western area, you go straight into this. The, no, this that's the exit. So you you would have to go there. Oh, this this doesn't look right. I wonder why. So if you're watching this, uh, I would like to know what what the the idea behind this is because I don't really know at the moment. So again, let me know. So this is the German themed area. It kind of has a, you know, a normal medieval look to it, which is always good because Germany is maybe the, the most no or Germany is the most known for its medieval past. I really look, uh, look. I really like the way he he did this uh, this. This uh, construction site here with with these uh, with these setup thingies. Oh man, these are words that you never use in uh, as a German with you if you want to speak English. But in 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 RCT I kind of have to. So uh, and this is Teutonicus. So get uh, get a little little uh, story of it for it. Yeah, uh, it's pre pretty much based on on the Teutonics, uh, uh, the true, the original. I wouldn't say the original tribe, the original group of tribes that formed the German nation at some point. I think the Teutonics are officially things like Saxons and 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 uh, I don't think Bavarians were back there, but but Goths and so on. Not not the modern kind of goths, but the old kind. The ride itself, I mean, it's 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 pretty nice. I mean, it's a it's a B and B and M uh, wing rider. This is a, maybe a little bit slow. I like how it just passes through the the ground here. I think it would be really tr uh, thrilling, thrilling. And again another uh, inversion it's maybe a little sh short even though it may sound weird for for B&M wing rider it but it is realistic at some point because it's just a small it's still just a small park if you if you look at it it it, it, it wouldn't have the money to build a huge oh my god what is up with that <laughs> he used the biggest flat in the world and build it as far away from the entrance as possible. That, that's quite interesting. I never seen something something like that, honestly. Okay, so uh, the station uh, is supposed to be a castle, which makes sense from this point of view, 
for this it's not too clear i don't know why he made the roof here that way i, I think he he meant it to look like a ruin oh the teutonic order i'm i'm so i'm so stupid <laughs> I just I just take took another look. Of course, the Titanic Order is not are not the the tribes that invaded uh, that formed Germany, but the Titanic Order was uh, an order of knights that that converted heathens to Christians. They were basically based in 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 East Prussia or the today's Poland and northern Poland, the the East Coast. No, the no, not the East Coast. That that's wrong. The the Eastern Sea, the Baltic Sea. We call it the Eastern Sea in Germany, but I think Baltic Sea is the ooh, is the real English word. So I'm sorry for that. If I may have, uh, uh, yeah, con con uh, convinced you. No, that's the wrong word. Confused you. So no, uh, even I am confused. The transfer track. Building pretty nice, even even a little bit themed. I kind of like that area, although I would have hoped that this is the most themed area, if you know what I mean. I mean this this background, but it it kind of is realistic because I think he he wrote here that it opens up in late 2014, and you kind of have the feeling that it's it's not really finished. Like there would probably go uh, some buildings just to make it not too strange and oh that's a really clever way to 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 stop peep gems from happening and then this building is not 100% done and and yeah a lot of free space where where there could be brushes or something i don't know if you intended it to be so but it it kind of looks new this whole area what is this Oh, that's the, that's the exit from now. I don't really know what this is. Another thing he can explain if he comments on this, if he sees it. And, but I guess it's uh, that's all for today, folks. Uh, we like oh, I totally forgot. <laughs> I totally overlooked this 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 drop tower. Yeah, let's let's admire it for a second because it's a drop tower and it's not drop towers are level two spectacular. And the station itself is not not too um, not too complex or anything like that. So, uh, like I said, that's all for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you you understood everything that I tried to say. Uh, again, leave comments on my performance on what you want to see in the future if you liked uh, what how i presented the park today uh, if the length of the video is is right and if if you want to see more basically so uh, leave a comment and goodbye until uh, yeah to next time next sunday another round i hope that there will be some parks releasing uh, to then uh, until then but like I said, if, if there are no new parks, I will just look at some old parks for you. I really want to have this every week. And yeah, let's see how it goes. So goodbye.